at St. Mary's, I have found everything and more that I've been looking for for as long as I can remember. They're tremendous, tremendous women. What they're trying to do is put it in a different way. What's the main idea of this paragraph? A presidential candidate needs 270 electoral votes. Stop, listen, think, respond. My self-esteem has gone up 200 percent. At the end of the program, I'm like, I'm going to get a job. I'm not going to say it was scary. It was just different for me. Is he staying asleep through all of this? To wait until you're 20, 25, 30 years old to have somebody say to you, what are your dreams? That's too long to wait. My goal is to be a family psychiatrist. A realtor. An administrator. And I'm an obstetric nurse. We are assuming that they are women who have been living in poverty, mm -hmm. who haven't had access to quality education, mm -hmm. haven't really had their emotional um, needs met in a consistent and, and in a safe environment. Mm -hmm. So yes, for us it's very intentional to create an environment where safety is absolute. It's at the heart of the mission. It really is about uh, responding to social justice needs for women and children. Sometimes when we are alone and when we have somebody next to us that doesn't really appreciate us, they make us feel bad. Mm -hmm. And I think that every woman has to know and, and has the right to change their life and do better for their own. I was just like, I would just stay in the house all the time, not go nowhere, not talk to anyone or anything. Mm -hmm. But um, I knew it was something I had to do because I wasn't going to be in that situation like ever again, not if I can help it. If you think about the educational needs of poor women and children and you think about the emotional needs, you can't separate them. You know, we describe them as inextricably linked. So we very intentionally have created programs that whether you're in a classroom in our adult basic education or in our women at work program or if you're a pregnant and parenting teen living in St. Mary's home, that we are really trying to respond to both your educational and your emotional needs so that you can really grow and support yourself and, uh, and your children. Doing for your child makes you feel like a better person, does it not? Right, you can say, well, forget this life, I hate it, but you're here because why? You have a child that's here now, right? So that's something we all got in common here. In a nutshell, nutshell this is how the elect electoral college works. Anybody see the sentences that don't belong? A symbol is something that's that stands it. for something else. That one doesn't belong. That's I took the math tutoring, and the math tutor is very, very, very good. The transformation of the women and children you can mark, you can see. It actually is, um, is really wonderful, not only when you see it, but the, when the women actually articulate that they know that is what's happening to them. Anyone who was successful in what they wanted to do, I was intimidated by them. I knew I wanted to be where they were, but I was intimidated by anyone, whether it was a doctor, a bus driver, anyone. Now I'm more confident to say, I'm proud of what you're doing, but I'm gonna be doing what I'm gonna do also. I think a couple of days into my internship, I caught on real quick. Everything that they taught me, that's just how focused I was. As soon as I went in there, I went in with my head, my head straight. I knew what I had to do, showed up on time, everything, punctual, everything. Kionda would not say a word. Mm -hmm. She would sit in the back. Yeah. I would say, well, didn't you bring in your homework or don't you want to say something? Like, Charlene, <laughs> you know, like, shh, girl. But she has come around. Mm -hmm. She has, she's gotten more happy, she says what she wants, mm -hmm. she does what she wants, and she doesn't let too much get That's over on her, so I would definitely say, Kionda, I am proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> I not only learned from the staff at Women at Work, but I also learned from my, my colleagues, I should say. I also learned from my colleagues, and there is three in particular. This was like, I swear, oh, she was like my second mother, <laughs> okay? I looked up to her for so much. I looked up for her so much. What inspires you? My son. And you? I need to. Seeing my son smile. And you? What is the common denominator here? Everybody's children makes them happy, right? Almost without exception, the women say to us that what is the most motivating force in their lives are their children. And so you start to really see them be propelled 
and to start building very specific goals and objectives that they want to accomplish. And they're quite proud because their children start to talk about not only how much attention their moms are paying to them, but how proud they are of their moms as they're starting to move on. Sometimes children need to be placed away from their families. So for those children, some of them come to us um, by themselves, some of them come to us with their brothers and sisters. St. Mary's, the bridge home becomes a sanctuary for those children. I say it humbly, I think other people would say it proudly, that we just really try and attend to the most vulnerable women and children in the city of Boston. It's a place to really gain understanding, knowledge, skills, so that they can move on with their lives. As far as being in a professional atmosphere, I never knew how to dress. My role model as far as that went was Kim, because I mean, when Kim came, Kim, when Kim came to work, she was dressed fierce. Because thinking how we wanted to dress was, like, girl, I got this tank top uh -huh, and I got these exactly. shoes. But she taught us how to yep. dress with camisoles and mm -hmm. you can stand with your tank top under. Mm -hmm. I think it's important for people that don't know St. Mary's to realize that it's not just the story of violence. It's the story of hope and possibility. It's the story of women and children that really have resiliency, that are very courageous, that they've lived through a number of experiences that none of us would ever want to imagine. But they are extremely hopeful and um, intent on having their lives be better than maybe what their lives were like prior to coming to St. Mary's. My name is Keonda Fisher and I am an administrator. And my name is Latima Simpson, and I am a family psychiatrist. My name is Charlene Perko, and I am a realtor. It may seem so hard, but at the end, you will see the results, and you will like what you see. At least see them. At least speak to them. At least try. Once you get past that, it is smooth sailing. Just got to have the courage. <laughs>